Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to knit a patchwork square. Absolutely amazing idea for knitted pot holders, pillowcases or knitted blankets. The size of each square depends on initial number of stitches. If you cast on 19 stitches as I did, your square side will measure 9 stitches. And to find out how many centimeters correspond to 9 stitches, you will need to measure your gauge. Therefore, knowing your gauge, you will know the length of the one side of the square. Here is the wrong side, looks really neat. Uh, it's easy to weave in ends after all. You may need and use just one color or two colors. For this example, I'm using double pointed needles. You may use any needles, straight or circular, four millimeters, and any medium weight yarn. I'm using today Karen Simply Soft. It is medium weight yarn number four. If you, you still have any doubts, just knit with me this small swatch and you will find out all secrets about knitted squares. I'm going to start with a green color. Twist the yarn in this way and make a loop. Insert your needle. Take the second needle and knit this first stitch. And now place the loop from the right hand needle to the left hand needle. So now we have two stitches. Now insert the needle between first and second. Now between yarn over, draw up a loop and place it on the left hand needle. So now we have three stitches. Again, insert the needle between newly first and second stitches. Yarn over, draw up a loop and place it to the left hand needle. So this is four. In this way, again, insert in between first, newly first and second stitches and place it to the left hand needle. In this way, we cast on needed number of stitches and the number has to be an odd number. I'm going to cast on 19 stitches. Let's do it again. In between, yarn over, pull through and place. And again, pull through and place to the left hand needle. So I cast on 10 stitches, cast on 9 more. And the last one, 19. Let's count again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one. So 19 stitches. And the first row 
need all stitches. We will need the first stitch as well. And need all other stitches till the end. At the end, throw the last, very last stitch. Turn. Here, slip the first stitch. Now, knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now knit three together. So how I'm going to do it? When knitting three stitches together, I want the central stitch to stay on top of the first and the third ones. For this, I slip next two stitches knit wise, then knit the third stitch, and at the end slip the first and the second stitch over the third one. Knit seven. And pull the last selvage stitch. And I want to tell you that this is the right side and now we turn to the wrong side. The wrong side, we, we will always need all stitches. Now we have 17 stitches. So slip the first stitch, knit 15, and pull the last selvage. Great. Turn. Row number 4, slip the first stitch, now knit 6, Again, knit three together, slip next two stitches knit wise, knit one, then slip both stitches over. You see the central stitch now is on top. And finish with knit six and throw the last selvage stitch. Turn row number five. Slip the first stitch and knit all other stitches, knit 13. And throw the last. In total 15 stitches now. Row number 6. Slip the first stitch, knit 5. Now knit three together. Again knit five. And throw the last selvage stitch. Turn row number seven, knit all stitches. We have 13 stitches in total here. Slip the first stitch, knit 11, and throw the last selvage. Turn row number 8, slip the first stitch, knit 4, knit three together, slip, knit, 
pass over. Knit 4 and draw the last stitch. Row number 9 knit all stitches. Row number 10, slip, knit 3, knit 3 together, knit 3, and draw the last salvage stitch. Turn row number 11. Again, knit all stitches. This is the wrong side. Turn row number 12. Slip the first stitch. Knit 2. Knit 3 together. Again, knit 2. And draw the last stitch. Row number 13. Knit all stitches. Turn. Row number 14. Slip. Then knit one. Knit three together. Knit one, roll the last stitch, row number fifteen. Slip, knit three, roll, row number sixteen. Slip the first stitch right away, knit three together. Roll the last stitch, turn row number 17, slip, knit one, purl, and row number 18, knit three together. That's it. Now, if you want to change the color, you can see yarn leaving the tail so it will be easy for you to weave in after. Do not give a short tail. Now, pull the new color through the last stitch. Now we will need pick up nine stitches along this side through the front loop only. You see, this is the front loop, front loop through the front loop, not underneath both loops, but through the front loop. Pick up nine stitches. So three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one here, nine. Now we have ten stitches, and you remember we need nineteen, so we need to. Cast on 9 stitches more, 
So how we will do it? Just turn and in the same way as at the beginning, insert the needle between first and second stitches and place the stitch on the left hand needle. And pay attention, we are doing it on the wrong side. So nine more stitches. Please go on picking up until you have 19 stitches in total. So here I am, I have 19 stitches and we are going to, to do absolutely the same what we have done for the green square. We start knitting all stitches and when we start we, we don't slip the first stitch here, we just knit it. And knit all other stitches till the end and do not forget to pull the very last stitch. And pearl. In the next row we will start making decreases so slip the first stitch knit seven then knit three together knit seven and pearl the last sewing stitch in the same way what we did for the green square please go on for the orange one so i have finished the next square now cut the yarn take a new color or if you are doing everything with the same color again pick up nine stitches and then turn and pick up nine more stitches on the wrong side and go on repeating as many times until you reach desired width or length of your project, whatever you are knitting, pillowcase or blanket. And when you finish, I will show you how to start the second row, how to pick up stitches, new stitches for the second row. Here I am, I've done the third square, so you see tails, lots of tails, but no worries. Now take the new color and as at the very beginning, make a slip knot. Insert the needle. Slip the loop to the right side and cast on nine stitches in total. So you cast on half stitches minus one. So I I cast on initial initially nineteen stitches. So now it's a uh, 19 by 2 minus 1. 9 stitches, one side of the square. Five. Six, seven, eight, and the last one, nine. Let's count again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we are going to pick up 10 more stitches along this side. 
again through the front loops we will pick up 10 stitches in total so start here right into the corner here one again through the front loop only like this and the seam will be really soft two three four five six seven eight nine ten In total we have now 19 stitches turn and let's repeat everything what we did before first row knit all stitches don't forget to knit also the very first stitch And pearl the last, very last stitch. Turn. Row number two, slip the first stitch, knit seven. One. Two. Three. Four. Five six seven now knit three together slip knit pass over knit seven and throw the last salvage stitch turn row number three knit all stitches and then again repeat all 18 rows for the red color here i am the first square of the second row is ready and now we will need the second square Pull the new color through the last loop. Now pick up 9 stitches along this side and 9 stitches along this side, and then repeat 18 rows and again pick up along this and along this side and repeat the same last 18 rows. Let's do it together again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in total we have 10 stitches now and we need 9 more along the orange square through the front loop only and pull here a little bit tight so that there will be no holes in between. One, two, three. Four, 
five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more. Eight and the last one nine. Now we have nineteen stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nineteen stitches turn and repeat all eighteen rows. Need all stitches here. Draw the last one, turn, row number two, slip the first stitch, knit seven, knit three together, Knit seven, and pull the last stitch. Turn, knit all stitches, and repeat all eighteen rows. I have done the second square of the second row. Again, cut the yarn. For the third square, we will repeat everything as for the previous square. Pull the new colors through the last loop. And pick up nine stitches. along this side, then 9 stitches along this side, turn and repeat the pattern from the beginning. When you want to start the third row, you start again as for the red color. You cast on 9 stitches and then cast on along this side 10 more stitches. And in this way you can knit as many rows as you want until you reach desired height of your project. And here I am. Look at this beauty. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope it was useful for you and you find out something new in this video tutorial. Please don't forget to like this video and share it and check the written instruction on my blog. I wish you all a good day and see you soon.